Thank you for tuning to this month's Instagram. Make sure you click the link in the bio. Like, subscribe. You know what to do. Uh, make sure you click the thumbs up. Thumbs up. Really appreciate the love. And make sure you subscribe for me. So, um, you know, first and foremost, RIP. Um, Lil Dirk's brother. Um, I think his name was like D-Thang. Um, OTFD thing, something of that nature. Um, said he was shot in the head. Um, last night, um, I'm guessing during some type of altercation or, you know, something obviously, you know, transpired. But, um, you know, once again, RIP to that, to that young man and their family, Lil Dirk's family. Um, but I just wanted to speak on something right quick because I had just actually came across a video talking about um, Little Dirk uh, sacrificing King Von or something of that nature to be successful or whatever the case may be. Um, and as we know, he just dropped his album with Lil Baby and that boy is, is, is set to do, a, from what I understand, 150,000 the first week, 150 to 250,000 the first week, which is just which is awesome numbers, like awesome numbers. Not too many people are doing those those type of numbers right now. So those are like astronomical numbers. Um, but with this being said, and you know him losing his brother, and once again, you know, I'm not about to be on this for too long. Um, and you know, you like I said, you hear about the Dirk Dirk has a curse and all that other stuff and things of that nature. And I just want to say that I don't think that um, I don't think it has anything to do with a curse. I don't think it has anything to do um, with him selling his soul. Because um, there's a lot of people out there like you sold your soul. You know, you uh, you set you're sacrificing people. And I can understand where people can get that idea, because if you look around, you know, once again, you know, his brother just died. He has a number one album. I think when King Von died, you know, his songs went up, number ones and things of that nature. Um, so you could, if you wanted to, you could make a, a connection between death and success. Um, because we all know, we, we, we just see it now on a consistent basis, how somebody dies, they get, it's like they become more successful. Um, so, but like I said, I, I'm, I don't think that the young man's cursed or anything like that. But what I do think is, and I'm just going to keep it 100. What I do think is, is that, you know, it's karma. You know what I'm saying? What goes around comes around. And I don't, I'm not, a, I'm not going to keep it real with you. I'm not a firm believer in karma because I feel like whatever you choose to call karma is up to you. Like you can choose anything. Like if you stole a candy bar from the store and then, you know, two months, three months later, uh, you lost $20. Um, you could say that's karma. Like, you could be like, oh, man, that's karma because I stole that candy bar. So karma is whatever you make it. I mean, you know, it, it, it literally is. But, um, but I'm really speaking of when I say karma when it comes to this situation, I don't really mean karma. I just really kind of mean your past coming back to haunt you. Um, you know, when I talk to my little niggas about, you know, the, the new rappers and Lil Durk and shit, like, they really talk about how, like, Lil Durk kill people. Like, they say he's, he's really killed people and I think he's beat some murders. I know King Von, for, for a fact, he was killing people and he beat a couple murders. Um, so what happened to him, I wasn't really surprised because, once again, if you live the life of a killer, um... It's like you live by the gun, you die by the gun. Now, what I'm, what I, what I think, what's going on with Little Dirt, is the fact that he did some dirt, okay, before he got, before he became, you know, successful. And since he's done that dirt, nobody's been able to fuck with him. Nobody's been able to touch him. He stayed out the way. Um, you know, he's not in the hood like that. He's not around people in places where he knows you know, he's done something wrong to them or, you know, there's a possibility that, you know, somebody could retaliate. Because in my opinion, this sounds like some type of retaliation. Um, it's like they couldn't get you, so they got your brother. Um, and once again, it's unfortunate. And it could be a lot more to this than that. 
but I just really feel like it's just, you know, it's just, it's just the world. It's just karma. It's just, you know, if you, if you live by the gun, you're going to die by the gun. And if you live by the gun and now you put the gun down and you get away from the gun, but there's still bodies and there's still individuals who you killed or who, whose life you, you fucked up, then there's going to always be a possibility of retaliation. And, you know, once again, I don't know what the whole reason why what happened to his brother happened. Um, we do know what happened with the King Von situation. That was, mis you know, that was unfortunate. But at the same time, he put himself in a position that he really didn't have to put himself into. Um, and maybe that's because, you know, you get that, you get that, uh, that bravado, you know, you didn't kill people and you this and you that, that you feel like maybe you, you know, you can't be touched or you're untouchable, but, um, but you're not. And the fact of the matter is, you know, you, 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 you really can't get away from the reaper for real. Like you can't, if you out here doing dirt and doing really dirty shit, Eventually, it's going to come back around to you in some way, shape, or form. It might not come directly to you. It might come to a family member, you know, but, you know, it's, those are the consequences for the things that, you know, people do before they get in the game. So, you know, if you want to, you, I mean, it's definitely, you can just really, on YouTube, they have a lot of little videos about OTF and Lil Dirk and King Von and FBG Duck and all those guys from Chicago who, you know, were straight up, you know, killers. Like, straight up out here shooting and killing people. And I once again, I don't know Lil, Lil Dirk's whole thing with his, how many murders he may have. But King Von definitely had some bodies. And um, I think FBG Duck or, you know, the guy that they were beefing with, I think he had some bodies. And, you know, like, them niggas is shooters for real. And it's like, we're listening to these niggas rap about shooting and killing each other, but they're really shooting and killing each other. Like, it's not for entertainment. Like, these niggas are really out here shooting and killing each other. And, you know, this is the music that, you know, we're promoting and the music that we're putting out and the music that we're blasting. And we wonder why we out here killing each other. So, I don't know, just food for thought. Appreciate you stopping by. Once again, you know, RP to uh, his brother, um, Lil Dirk's brother and RIP to, you know, condolences to the family and the things that they about to go through. Um, but yeah, so hopefully, you know, hopefully, you know, things, things start looking up. Well, once again, they're about to do 250,000. So things are, you know, but you still lost, you know, your brother. So, you know, things hopefully I will, you know, look up, but I know that's probably something you'll never get over because that's your brother. And I see him in a lot of pictures. They kicked it together a lot and stuff. So, you know. But uh, once again, RIP to that young man. And uh, condolences to his family. Peace.